welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be playing this game called Polar Dread that I just got because I cannot afford, I cannot afford FNAF VR. I want it. So, let's get into it. I, as of now, I cannot hear, sadly. So, what the? My Oculus hearing port broke. Um, anyways, what is that? It's like all the dark. It's like some a blue pair of eyes. Oh, it's in the right. Okay, yeah. Um, I heard about this game. I heard it was really good, really scary. Called um, Polar Red. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a super. Wait, this is a supported haptic suits. You can use a haptic suit in this. It's crazy. Oh my god, you can grab this stuff. That's cool. I'm not gonna catch this one anymore. I'm not gonna catch this one. Oh, I got it. It's toxic. Okay, that's cool. Um, start. Okay, that thing. Sorry, guys, there's cops. I don't know why. Oh, okay, here we are. Why are there Christmas lights? This is... Monday. Okay, we're on Monday. Looks like... Now we should have to... Ooh, what is that? DLC? Okay, let's go to the tour. Oh, wait, wait, I just realized we have blue hands. Just like in Help Wanted. I don't know why I have like the crash screen every time I load, try to load into something. Hello, player, and tutorial. welcome to Polar Dread. Now, we don't have an actual it, narration like, yet like, for the tutorial, like, so you're gonna be stuck Christmas. with me instead you? for now. Um, so the first thing I want to introduce you to oh, no. is the basic mechanics of the game, because it's gonna get a little complex in the later nights of the game, and you have to know how to manage everything in the room. I think a good place to start would be on. your door controls. So. If you look down to the right of the room, you should see a door that has some fairy lights at the top of it. This is going to be your main office entrance, and this is how a lot of the enemies are going to try to get into your room. Now, if you look down at your table, you should see that there's a little button on it that's to the far right. This will actually toggle the door, opening it or closing it. Now, don't worry about the door opening on its own, because it's going to stay shut if you hold it shut. As soon as you toggle it back off again, though, the door will open, meaning that enemies can get through. Um, now, the reason you want to keep the door open sometimes is because you have a power limit. You can actually view oh, this limit on your watch I using the green light. rim that surrounds the time. Once the green rim that turns point. red, that's power that you've effectively lost, which you cannot get back until the end of your day. So you have to manage all your power the best you can. Now, another thing I want to address is the ventilation duct behind you. If you were to turn around, you should see a ventilation duct behind you. This is where some enemies are going to come crawling through. Where's and in order to shut them out, first, you have to detect them by pushing the X button in your controller. You'll turn on the flashlight on your left hand. You can use this to look into darker areas of the office if you feel like it's needed. But this does not take up any power, so you can be as trigger happy with it as you want. When you have your light focused in the dark vent, you might see something in there. If you do, you look to the right to the vent where you should see a little button. This works like the door control. You can toggle it on and off and it shuts up the vent, preventing any creatures from getting inside. I don't know how to leave. Now, if you turn around to face the front again, you should see a little tablet that's mounted in front of you. And then behind that tablet, you should see a giant flat screen on the wall that has a camera system on it. You can basically use this tablet by touching a room to toggle that camera feed to the room that you've just touched. This is so you can tell where all the enemies are without you need to actually leave the office. It's always good to look at the cameras if you don't know where an enemy is, because otherwise they can sneak up on you if you're not paying attention. Now, the last thing I want to tell you about oh, is how to force grab items in this game. Oh, the there are some items that are currently out of your reach. You can actually grab them and pull them towards you using a simple three-step system. First off, reach your hand towards whatever object you want to grab, Bible? and if it has blue the blue highlight, you're doing it correctly. And then, make a fist by squeezing either the trigger or the grip button. Holy Satan! Once you have Satan, locked in, Lord is our savior! The Lord is our savior! And then catch it out of the air. You'll require some more items during the later nights of the game, so you want to make sure you're able to reach as many of them as you possibly can during the spare time that you have between encounters. That's all for now, though. So I'll just let you win the game. There's no soda. Whatever. 
I'm doing it back. <laughs> photo oh okay yeah i beat it oh i don't know what that was about let's go we'll check out the character gallery later i can't reach that button and there's no turn feature so i can't go to walk over there creature gallery. boom warm booze snark okay that's not the creature we saw at the beginning it's not the end track we saw at the beginning Temptation. This is not the- I don't think this is the this is the end of Tragic Resolve at the beginning. It might be, but probably not. It didn't really look like this. I think it was per, per, Perry we saw at the beginning. Is that a top hat? One of those, one of those hats that the wind be, fire bear force thing uses. I don't know what his name was. Um, I'll probably have to put a picture of him up the screen right now. Perry. Then we got Vicky. That, like a white cheetah or something? I don't know. Slush bear. Does he sell slushies or something? No, he just looks creepy as hell. Okay. Black emo. The emo. <laughs> Look at it. He got a bay leg. He got a hammer. Whatever his eye. He got whacked. Maybe I want him to do that. Buddy T bear. What's this watch? Okay, um, this guy's huge. He looks freaking creepy. It's definitely based off of Freddy. This guy also looks like that one forest guy. Well, I probably stare at this. Floppy and Antler. Okay, I, I think, yeah, we saw Floppy. I'm pretty sure it was an Antler in the office. Probably neither of them. It doesn't really look like these guys. But yeah, here's Floppy and Antler. Heads. Lumber lemmings. Oh, those probably come out of the woods. Snark. Oh, back to snark. Okay. Let's go back. Yee. Oh, there we go. Down there. I'm my all oh, my hair just in. Probably because my fan is on. Oh, there's snark. You know. It was originally Perry, and now it's Snarky, and now it's Snarky. Okay, can we just, just smash both of them? All right, let's, let's go. Second, I get jump scared, I'm done. Always keep an eye on the dark, and turn around behind you when possible. Press X on your left hut. Sure. Force swiping is important to grab distant objects. You make the object, make a fist, fling it back to you, catch it. Musical memory, okay. This is Poppy Playtime! Always keep an eye on the dark and turn around behind you when possible. Twelve. What's this? What's this walkie talkie about? Where's, where's the soda? I'm thirsty. Wait, what if he didn't just. He didn't even add a power outage. That'd be nice. Is there something? Where's Dennis? Save off. Hi, Snarky! I can tell you're coming to me. Studio. Alright, I don't see nothing on the cameras. Oh, hobby. What the? Um, there's Snarky. Bro, no, Louise, he actually bends down. Studio. Where's the studio? Where's the studio? Oh. He's watching a movie. Uh, no. 
now, you know. I don't like this thing. I don't like spark slurking. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. What does one mean? Is that like my, my? Am I gonna die? Bro, tell me, am I gonna die? Net hit zero. Snarky, you son of a. Please tell me just. What happens? What happened? I can't see anything. I'm scared. I'm scared. It's huge! Game over? Python scripts and recently pictures videos. Does this stuff happen? Okay, none of these are associated with anyone. Okay, one of them is. One of them is associated with my family. But you guys. You son of a bitch. If the video goes. Survive night one. Survive one. I survived tonight six, or I think it was something like that. In the black and white mode and Five Nights at Freddy's VR on my Switch, my PS4. That's it for today's video, guys.